Alrighty, so as much as I want each and every person to really take stock of what they see, sense, and feel before they get out there. So we're in an environment now where many people are, so a lot of people just aren't having a lot of chit chat. And then when they do, sometimes it's a mile a minute on topics that may or may not be correct or on a frequency that evolves and expands and helps make change. And at the same time keeps you grounded, keeps your heart open. So I myself, because of the business that I'm in, you know, with clients and so on, but I've always had this thing where everybody tells me stuff. So I've always had to go in and really work on my own energy. And then there's times where there's a lot coming in from many different sources and avenues that it can be inundating. And even when I want to shut it down, it takes a lot of effort. And then occasionally I get a little spit fiery. Yeah, I know you can't imagine that, but this one here can get mm, a little fiery, feisty, get out of my way kind of thing. So that being said, I've heard a couple things this week that have been actually very alarming that have that have um set off a um multiple alarm fire and there's no fire trucks that could put it out so i had to think I had to meditate had to feel it had to really be in in like what i could i could do to make change so I had to ask, am I going to, am I going to put this out? And so I thought, you know, I have to. So I'm going to show it because I don't want it in the algorithm here. And I want you to do your research on it. Okay. So there is a person by the name of... Got that? So this person knows some people I know. Conversation came up. But this particular person is on a organ transplant list. Money's been raised. People willing to donate. Guess what? They won't even consider him because he hasn't had the. And then this particular story has gotten out there and has gained some momentum enough so that the facility where he would have this particular surgery wants to shut it down by saying it won't accept towards it or anyone uh, who wants to, to give of their organ unless they've been. And of course I'm thinking WTF. You won't even accept from the un, what? Like, like what? Does, does, does one, one bill contain a virus and one doesn't? I mean, what is happening here? How do we even allow it? And this is where we have to join our voices because it's not a what if, it's not a 
prediction. It's not the unknown, it's in your face fact. And there's articles out about it. And then for some reason, if a news channel does anything on this guy, hmm, doesn't seem to make it to air. So perhaps y'all could spread the word and have people starting to look up things and how you can make your voices heard. Now, another thing that set off multiple alarm fires with no ambulances or fire trucks in sight was, as we know, there are many people going before the Senate regarding that R med that was being given to the C people that were um, in a bed in a facility with the C are given this R. And are no longer with us because of the R. And so what's being heard before the Senate is medical staff, like all the nurses that were brought in specifically for this outbreak <clears throat> back in 2020 and so on. And what they're now having an opportunity to voice is insane insane and that how so many tried to reach out to the powers that bees and were shut down or no response and then they're left to deal with the aftermath not only of the patient not making it but the families not being able to be there and blah 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 blah, blah. so this is all this stuff is coming out okay it's nothing new, I'm not making it up, it's not, you know, anything. So then, while all this is going on, there is another group of people working on another division to bring this information to the forefront. And that was on our US military forces. And so for five years, like let's just say, to 2015 to 2000 through 2020, there was maybe 1.7 million diseases amongst all of these people. Could have been kidney, could have been, you know, heart, could have been whatever, right? So the, that was a statistic. And then in 2021, it jumped to over, ready? From 1.7 to, ready? 22 million in 10 months. What? And this was after, you know, mandated everybody. So she was now going to bring that information to the forefront. And so you're still not hearing a lot of this on your NEWs, okay? And God bless the people that do the research and are able to get it out and, and, and not have fear of censorship or getting kicked off. And you get enough voices, someone's going to get through, right? It's just that you gotta get it out there. So, I encourage all of you to take the time to research some of this and get to know the information and understand it within yourself. If others want to ask you about it, you don't need to go out and spew it, but you just need to understand it. It's facts. Secondly, is align your energies and send out love for the highest good of anyone who is trapped on this side of maybe losing their you know what 
and or a loved one is or suffering in any way because of what is happening, regardless of how it's happening. Offer forgiveness, offer love, and offer compassion to all of those seen and unseen that have stories that we will never hear or become a statistic of in the millions or the thousands or whatever it is and you don't hear the story, you don't see the face and you don't feel the pain. Don't carry it for them. Have compassion and send love. Send love out into the energetic airwaves for all, and especially double dose. Anyone who is suffering, anyone. a lot. Don't let your shoulders get too heavy. Offer the love through forgiveness and compassion. Find ways that your soul, your spirit can assist for the highest good of all. But in the meantime, you are sending the love out all over to bring more peace and to bring these things to technicolor, not just to the surface, to technicolor, all right? Much love, much love, and please like, please subscribe, and please share this video, share it. Thank you.